Hey, so in this video I show you how to make a beef presaola at home. First of all, we need some beef. I use top round for this, however also loin works. Basically any leaner cut of the beef works fine for this kind of ham. For the spices, super simple. I have some salt and cure and then thyme, black pepper, juniper berries and there's also the possibility to rub the meat after the curing process with thyme and rosemary but that's completely optional and up to you. First step is to clean the meat, get rid of all the sinews, silver skin and also any cuts like this just make sure it's completely cleaned up there also should be no holes and then in the end it should look like this nice and tidy then you weigh it the weighing process is because we calculate all the salt and also the spices depending on the weight. Once you measure out the spices, put them in a mortar. They don't need to be super fine, like this is completely okay. And then sprinkle everything on top of the meat. Make sure that everything is distributed evenly and then rub everything in and then you can put it into your vacuum bag and the important part here is that everything needs to go in the bag my camera died but all the spices all the salt all the cure needs to be in the bag that's why we waited then you vacuum it i seal it twice just for good measure and then I write the date on it and put it in the fridge for roughly one and a half days per centimeter of thickness. So this meat, for example, I cured for two weeks. You can always go longer, but don't go shorter. In the end, it firmed up, it lost some moisture and also the color changed a bit. Pat it dry and now would be the time where you put the optional coating on if you want it. I want it clean this time, so I don't put it on. Then get a hook or a butcher's twine and then we let it dry. The important part here is the humidity. It should be between 70 and 80 percent. The temperature also should not go above 15 degrees Celsius, which is roughly 59 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have that anywhere in your house, you could also do it in the fridge. However, then it will dry out a bit faster than you want it to. In the end, you can vacuum seal it again, let it rest, and then the drier parts on the outside will not be as hard. But yeah, if you can control the humidity, then in the end, you have a piece looking like this. As you can see, it's still tender. It's not super dried out, but that's how I like it. You could also let it dry more. And here I have it on a plate. And as you can see, there are no dry spots on the outside. That's because I had the perfect humidity and also temperature for the drying process. I let it dry for roughly five weeks. As I said, you could also go longer. Then for eating, I put it here on a bread. And yeah, what should I say? It's fantastic. It has this rich and deep beef flavor the texture is very, very good. It's super easy to make, actually. Yeah, if you want the full recipe, you can find it below the video, as always. And if you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.